Congratulations, Pep. Thank you. It looked emotional. It looked emotional yeah. for you out there. Can you put into words why this one was so special for you? No, completely different with people without. We are lucky to, in the last day when we leave the trophy. It's not full of stadium, but there's enough noise to, to enjoy with them. It's much better. Football is completely different. We saw it last week in Brighton and today. It's much better. Is that why it made it so special? Because you've had to come through so many challenges this season. Every title is nice, this is different for the fact, for the pandemic world, for the problems that every one of us had. So that's why it makes it special. The fans are very emotional as well. Mike has been emotional because he's saying goodbye to a legend in Sergio Aguero. Was it just typical of him, the, 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 the 30 minutes that we saw of him out there today? We love him so much. He's a... He's a special person for all of us. You're not having second thoughts, are you, Pep? He's so nice, he's so nice. Is it because of the human being as, as well as the footballer? Yeah, he helped me a lot. That's... It's, so good. It, it's been the challenge for you. You've had to do it replacing totems of this football club. We, cannot, we cannot replace him. We cannot. There are many players that uh, this club, Joe Hart, and David Silva, help, help us to be this club what it is. So we did have his legacy and he showed his quality in 20 minutes. I want to ask about you as well, though, Pep, and your coaching achievement this season. At one stage before Christmas, you were eight. And now you win the league by 12 points with, with 12 days to spare. How did you do it? Win games. Game but and game and changed, game. Pep, something changed, Pep. Something Around that Chelsea game at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, I think Yeah, when we won the Stamford Bridge, we realised that uh, suffering in the last month, you know, uh, struggling COVID, but many, many teams, of course, injured, won in... in uh, when we suffer a lot and we realize, oh, we are not far away, top of the league. And I think the performance we play there with just 14 players, we realize, oh, okay, we are here still. When the people say it's no chance this season, still we are here. And, you know, when we are in, a, I would say, I think, remember, maybe 19 December until 9 of March, 7 March, when we lost against United here, December March, we won all the games in all competitions. This was the moment that we were champions, so uh, we were incredible. Can I ask you a question? How important was it for the players when you actually signed your contract this year to, to know that you're going to be here as well for the future? But I don't know, but this is the reality when the players know the stability for the next year yeah. will be the same. And, uh, and uh, yeah, me, me, I don't know, because uh, the fact, but maybe we show that uh, the next season we are the same people, we are working together and maybe they realize, OK, with this, with this fucking manager, we stay the next, next year. So that's why, OK, keep running, keep fighting, keep trying to play good games. One more big challenge, Pep, next Saturday. Yeah. Will that be the biggest one of the lot? Yeah, it's a dream come true. For this club, it's a dream. For other clubs, maybe I've been there before. We have never been before there. It's the first time for all of us, for the people in this club. And uh, yeah, we're going to try it. So we're going to give everything and uh, of course we want to win it. So it's not enough just being there. We're going to try it and uh, it's in their, in their legs. So it depends on them. Pep, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Enjoy the celebrations. I thank will. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.